Hi, Philip from the Sack and Stone here. I'm very excited to have Jan Turcott from Turcott Interiors with us today. She's an interior designer and color specialist, but we are very fortunate to have Jan as our staging consultant. So she's here to talk about not only staging, but also more colors for you, trends and things like that. So we're very happy to have her here to share. Since 1988, I have had one passion only, that is to exceed customer expectations in every facet of the real estate transaction. Our attention to detail and negotiating skills make us the most sought after realtors in our marketplace. Real estate is an industry that's now technologically driven. We at the Sack and Stone team will always be cutting edge. Well, thanks again, Jan, for joining us today and, and sharing your expertise on a lot of things to do with obviously staging and design and interior design. So we're happy to have you here. So let's get right at it. Um, what are the current colors? What are the popular colors that we sh people should be thinking about right now? Well, that's a great question, Philip. So, um, you know, at the beginning of the year, a lot of companies send out their color trend for the year. And so this is one, for instance, that's from Sherwin-Williams. And they're projecting, um, as well as a lot of other companies, that we're going from the gray trend that's been in for, ten, for the last eight to 10 years, and now it's also starting to trend out, that we're going to warmer colors. So we have a warmer color palette here. So we still have our neutrals, but our, our browns are starting to warm up a little bit. We have more pops of color here. And then we also have the addition of our greens and blues and so forth to make interiors and exteriors pop. So now do they use these as, a, as would you say this is like kind of the basic backdrop colors and then these are the accent colors or do you think the trend is it's going to be you could use any of these for the, the, the full color, the, the, not just the accent? I think it can be a little bit of both. So okay. we've been in this gray trend for the last... Right, and how eight, long do trends usually last? They last about eight to ten years. And okay. so we're about, we're trending out now. So okay. um, so people will start to see more brighter colors used in different things in their, um, their furniture, as well as rooms, as well as, you know, cars too. So everything is, is starting to get brighter. All works together. Okay, yeah. great. Right. And um, and who is the responsible for the color, the what the, the colors are? I mean, obviously these guys, are sure, sure, the painters are putting theirs out, but it has to kind of come from... Right. So the furniture industry, you know, they recycle and start to bring on more of their color trends. And Pantone has been the director of, of color for a very, very long time. And um, but now a lot of the other companies are starting to okay. get on the bandwagon and so forth. But so basically, from a from a manufacturer's perspective, they want to just trigger new sales. Exactly. They're basically exactly. saying, okay, everyone's got a gray sofa now, so now we right. got to do something else so that they we have right. to sell more stuff. Okay. Right. Exactly. That, that makes sense. Okay. Um, now for for clients and friends and people that don't have the daring, you know, the stomach to do all this. Uh, and they are more of a, they feel like they're more neutral people. What mm -hmm. do you recommend that they do to, to stay with trends as much as they are comfortable with? Yeah, great question. So, so in, for instance, you have your walls, and they could be a very neutral color like this, as well as your flooring could be a very um, neutral wood. For instance, this is a vinyl wood and so forth. It has a couple different colors, so it tends to work with a lot of different furniture and so forth, and um, not too dark. Um, you can ha start with a really light palette like okay. this, and um, then if you want your sofa or some of your um, larger pieces, you could use you know a taupe or you could use a navy or a cream. And these and are things that people are probably comfortable with. Yes, yeah. yes, and a lot of big box stores okay. sell these colors okay. in their color palettes and so forth. But if you wanted to be a little more daring, we can add a airy rug in okay. here, which is and not. Brought, and she brought an airy rug too. Oop. So here was an area rug. Right. So. Oh wow! So all of a sudden you see the yeah, you taking see, shape here. Yeah, you see it taking shape and popping and so forth. So. Um, because we live near the coastal area, um, a lot of people tend to move toward the more bluer green trends because the ocean reflects that and people love that look. So you can blend that with your lighter colors and it still has a really nice pop and so forth. Okay. And then if you wanted to even pop this more, you could add some um, nice accent pillows. So we have our neutral colors. Yes, we have our neutral and our, colors. And our area rug. Oh, wow. So and then now we have sudden, our accent colors. So we can add tie our, it all together. Tie, our, um, our throw pillows and um, there you go. You've got a nice bright living room and once you get tired of those colors you can take the pillows out and change them out and put something new and you're not changing so them. with this with this palette with this basic palette even if you want to change completely drastically this doesn't cost too much to change just a rug no. and then the pillows would be the most inexpensive thing that you exactly. could you go from like red to orange to right. br brown to everything so okay yeah, exactly wow so, yeah it sure makes a difference little changes like that yes, well definitely. thanks Jan she's awesome 
At the Sack and Stone team, our clients are always number one. Get in touch with us with a call, text, or email, and stay in touch. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.